The other day, I was at my gym working up a sweat and suddenly this thought occurred to me. Investing is like working out, seriously. I previously made a similar video about my personal fitness journey and what losing 100 pounds taught me about investing, which I highly encourage you to watch after this video. And I thought I would take another look at this and flesh out why investing is quite literally like getting your butt to the gym or fitness studio and how putting in time and dedication will help you see long term results. Hey guys, it's Nick with Nick Does DGI, and hope you find some value to this video and thank you for always being a supporter of this channel. Please consider clicking that like button and subscribing to my channel. I'm on a quest to create an online community where I can foster collaborations on personal finance, investing, stocks, dividends, real estate, and simply financial well-being. Now let's get on with the video. Let's face it, finding motivation to lose a bit of that happy holiday weight is on many people's minds. They begin the year with the New Year's resolution of getting into a regimented fitness plan to go to the gym X amount of times a week or walk X amount of steps a day. This happens so frequently that there are memes about the rush of gym newcomers, such as this one from Game of Thrones to this one. These gets me every time. But in all seriousness, we all know from academic and scientific research that many fitness goals fall to the wayside. This study from fitness tracking company Strava used over 800 million user logged activities in 2019 to predict the day most people were most likely to give up on their New Year's resolution. And that day was January 19th, or what Strava called Quitter's Day. So in less than 21 days or 3 weeks. Without fail, this trend continues year after year and more than 6.1 million Americans flush down $1.3 billion a year down the drain on unused gym memberships. In actuality, investing is really just the same application. Just as people want to get into better shape and better their physical health face roadblocks, the same could be true for investing slash personal finance. We have a serious savings crisis in our country. According to Bankrate, only 39% of Americans could cover an unexpected $1,000 expense such as a car repair or emergency room bill. There is also a looming retirement crisis for the baby boomer generation. A whopping 45% of boomers have zero retirement savings. And a Gallup poll revealed that only 55% of Americans claim to own some form of stock in 2020. I think that this figure is way too low and should be close to as 100% as possible. Everyone wants to be in a financial position to be debt free, have ample savings, and a healthy retirement account, but really don't know where to start. Dividend stocks, growth stocks, bonds, options, crypto, and the list goes on. But people lack proper financial education growing up as schools simply failed to teach personal finance and was oftentimes considered taboo to talk about money even within families. Instead, they were told to do well in school, go to college, and work a job for 40 plus years of your prime adult years only for you to retire at 65. But that's not enough. If people are not being guided throughout the process, then they will fall off the wagon. In many instances, most employers don't even offer a retirement 401k plan, nor are Roth IRAs mandatory. The responsibility is on the individual to prepare for his or her retirement because whatever social security benefits they might receive later down the road will not likely sustain your cost of retirement living. But this barrier to financial independence is not impenetrable, however. If you could just take away one thing from this video, understand that the power of consistency over time and compound interest will help to greatly serve you on your quest to financial freedom. I don't want to burst your bubble, but just like you won't lose 25 pounds overnight, you won't become wealthy overnight. The phrase, Rome wasn't built in a day, is a quote to remind you to be patient. It takes a lot longer to build the incredible city of ancient Rome. In this day and age of fancy social media ads, marketing get-rich-quick schemes, be wary of what you see. Any talking head on TV, TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram advertising great returns over a short period of time is talking out of their butt. True progress and wealth is created over years and years of investing. Believe me, I used to be a heavier dude weighing in at close to 300 pounds and it took a lot out of me to lose 100 pounds within a year. I did my research and quickly understood that a sustainable weight loss rate was roughly 2 pounds a week. 
I learned that exercise in combination with dieting is what leads to maintaining your weight loss and minimizing the risk of yo-yo dieting. This led me to discover uh, weightlifting and specifically powerlifting. In the realm of fitness, I look up to good old Arnold as he was one of the earliest pioneers of bodybuilding and powerlifting. He immigrated to the United States from Austria in 1968 at just 21 years old to achieve his bodybuilding goals, which he later did by being crowned Mr. Olympia for seven times during his career. Alright, enough of my fitness spiel. With time, consistency, and compound interest, you too could build up a nest egg to fund your early retirement or retirement years. There are of course more than one viable investing strategy to build wealth. Sure, you can always build wealth by starting a business, buying a rental property, or investing in higher education for a higher salary. But the primary investment vehicle for the purpose of this video and my YouTube channel is of course dividend growth investing in the stock market. Dividend growth investing with the growth aspect emphasized is my preferred method of investing into the stock market because it captures two popular investment strategies, growth investing and dividend investing. Dividend growth investing allows you to invest in blue chip high quality companies that not only pays dividends but grows its dividends year after year. And with that dividend income, you can use it to pay your monthly bills or simply reinvest it back into your portfolio to further accelerate the, the snowball effect. Here are some examples of my favorite blue chip dividend growth companies. My favorite re realty income, and ticker symbol O, is my favorite, having raised its dividends for 26 consecutive years and pays its dividend every month. The company Johnson & Johnson, ticker symbol J&J, &J, is a dividend king, having raised its dividend for 58 consecutive years. The company Procter & Gamble, ticker symbol PG, is also a dividend king, having raised its dividend for 65 consecutive years. Dividends matter, let me repeat that, dividends do matter and remain an important component of total return from the stock market. This chart illustrated here explains it all. 43% of the total return of stocks since the beginning of 2000 has been due to compounding effects of reinvested dividends. I have made a ton of videos on my channel about dividend investing and the investing brokerage platform you can use to get started, so please feel free to check out those later. One pushback I always see online is that, but Nick, the returns of tech growth stocks blows past typical returns of blue chip dividend growth stocks, so why should I be invested in these more conservative dividend aristocrats? That's a valid question, but there is a rational uh, explanation. For the past five or six years, the technology se uh, sector shown here in orange has largely outperformed almost every other sector out there, but the market cycles even within market sectors. That wasn't always the case. Since 2007, other market sectors such as consumer discretionary shown here in red and healthcare shown here in purple have in years outperformed the technology sector while experiencing lower volatility, aka beta. The stock market continues to make headlines of new record highs despite initial fears back in early 2020 due to the pandemic. The market has since recovered and is likely to continue trending upwards. Dividend growth investing is a marathon and not a sprint. Continue to make purchases no matter if the market is up or down and as often as you can and you will see compound interest work its magic over time. The question is, are you ready to take control and take control of your financial independence? Let me know where you stand by leaving a comment down below. Please note that this video is not intended as financial advice nor am I a financial advisor. Past performance is no guarantee of future results and please take the information with a grain of salt. Please do your own research and due diligence when deciding to invest in investable securities. If you found this video helpful, please consider clicking the like button and subscribing to my channel. Hit the bell notification to receive an alert on all the latest videos. The YouTube algorithm likes these sorts of engagements and helps my channel get shown on more homepages. Until next time, take care.